Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna to be fly fishing in the mountains of New Mexico. We are on vacation right now, up in the mountains, and uh, just leaving the hotel room. About to go out with our guide, so stay tuned. I'm gonna have the GoPro on my chest cam. My mom's gonna have this camera, I'm not gonna sure. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get on this camera, but anyways, hopefully we catch some fish. It's gonna be a fun experience, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. made it to the stream and uh, about to go with the guide for a little bit and get kind of the ropes on this fishery and stuff like that but uh, starting off with a dry fly so awesome topwater action fishing a sage method very very nice rod um, retails just under 900 <laughs> this is not my rod it's the guides rod but decided to keep the Loomis up for the day and use the sage and another sage reel so we're gonna see how things go out hopefully I can get some topwater fish and uh, get some sweet footage, but stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. Want to be on camera? Oh, this is Lou, guys. She's the guide's uh, training puppy right now. A little one but hey man he's using that current yes first fish there we go it's a baby rainbow I'll try to keep him in the water as much as I can now the, the the part we're fishing it is catch and release which means pinch barbs so typically it's pretty easy to get the hook out beautiful I saw that fish feeding and uh, got to watch him eat it. Okay guys, first fish, beautiful little rainbow. I'll let it go now. Sitting by my feet, there it goes. That is beautiful. That is why I like fly fishing. That was sweet guys. First fish on the elk hair caddis, a dry fly. Watched him come up and eat it in that real uh, skinny backwater. I saw him swimming there. He was going back and forth and he was feeding through my fly about a foot in front of it. It floated perfectly right in front of its face. He came up and nailed it. So beautiful first fish, great start. This trip is already successful. That's all I wanted to do was catch a fish on a dry fly and I did it. So now it's just fun and games, gonna mess around. Hopefully catch some more fish, so stay tuned guys. Beautiful little rainbow on the dry fly. Beautiful fish. Very close. Okay, guys, gonna let it go. There it is. Perfect. Second fish of the day so far. Going good. Missed a bunch of fish, but you know it's hard with these these fish. They're just quick striking it, but it's fun. And uh, anyway, second fish of the bag. Let's get some more.
beautiful fish, so. Release, hey. All about the catch and release. That was why you go trout fishing right there. Guys, if you look at the gill plate right there, see that orange? That's the cutthroat in it, but it's mixed with a rainbow. So they're called a cut bow. So they're a hybrid between a cutthroat and a rainbow. This is one of the only native places in the United States that you can catch cut bows and cutthroat, which is really cool because there's cutthroat or really beautiful um, trout. You see that, that super bright orange under that under that gill right there? Super super pretty. And that slash of orange right there on the on the actual gill plate. So anyways, I'm gonna let this fish get revived real quick, take some pictures and then and then release it. Okay guys, we're gonna release this one real quick. It's always good to face the head, the nose upstream. So the water flows through their gills naturally, just like they sit in the current and just let them sit there until they kick off. That's the best way to release a fish. So it was a beautiful cut bow and uh, fourth fish of the day on a little pattern here. I'll show y'all kind of what I'm fishing. A uh, small little mayfly pattern, a dry fly. It's kind of hard to see probably. Anyways, it's beautiful watching these fish come up and rise on these dry flies. It's in my opinion, the best way to catch a trout. It's just like catching a bass on a frog or a buzzbait or something like that. And, uh, anyways, I'm going to stick at it, keep at it, and uh, see if I can get some, a few more topwater fish before we, I think, switch over to some nymphy. But anyways, this is a blast. Beautiful, beautiful stream. So we're going to stick to it and uh, hope you guys are enjoying so far. real strong right here so I'm just gonna hold it up to the camera but this one's a brook trout I'll show you the pattern on it it's a little bit different beautiful fish with a bright red spots on it it might even be a baby brown trout I'm not sure I'll have to confirm with the guy but uh quick release again I'm trying to be careful with these fish but they're just so slippery and they're real muscly, so they just wiggle out of your hands. But the fish, the fish of the day. And uh, again, on the same dry fly again, we're crushing the dry fly pattern. So I'm just gonna keep sticking to that one and keep catching fish. So stay tuned.